All right, I hadn't made any videos in a while, and last year I made these Christmas reindeer. Well, this year I'm gonna try to tackle a sleigh. And this sleigh measures three feet by five feet. And I cut, uh, I got a paper pattern off the, uh, I think it was the Hallmark channel, they had a sleigh. Anyway, so I got somebody to um, draw it out to scale for me because I'm definitely not an artist. And then I cut my pattern on a piece of eighth inch Luon like you'd put down under a vinyl floor or something. You can see my sleigh. So I'm gonna try to cut that. Basically, it's just trace and cut now for the uh, for the profile of the sleigh. All right, I just cut my piece of plywood out. This piece is uh, three feet by well, about four feet, I guess. And uh, you can see I've got my sleigh marked out here. Now, the trick of this is gonna be just cutting it out with the jigsaw. It's gonna be quite a bit of cutting. But, uh, you know, it won't be too bad. Over here's my pattern. If anybody wants one of these, I could probably uh, send you one in the mail for, you know, just a little bit of money. So, uh, anyways, I'm going to get started. All right, here's a little trick. You can see what I've got cut out. Let me just warn you. It's a lot of cutting. And I've been cutting probably 15 or 20 minutes now. Uh, these little pieces right here, I just drilled a hole in them with a 3 8 bit so I could get my jigsaw blade in there. So that's just a little trick. If you had not never done any jigsaw or scroll work, that's, uh, that's how you do it. You can lay the blade back at a real sharp angle and start cutting, but it's pretty, especially with something three quarters thick, you probably bend your blade. All right, there's the first side. I messed up a little bit right here, so I kind of had to, <laughs> that's supposed to be a little more pointed. But uh, so I just kind of made the other side to match, and you know, we're not gonna be looking at this thing from under a microscope, you know, sitting out in the yard, you'll never know the difference. So, all right, here is the finished sleigh, and there's really nothing to putting this thing together. I basically just picked up the scrap pieces of plywood I had like that left over from cutting it out and fit the bottom the back and a little seat and i think the the longest piece i had left was about 34 inches so that's what i made it um if i had to do over again i would be a little more careful as far as cutting my piece my scrap pieces off square Now right, you can kind of see how I, I just put those scrap blocks into there to catch the bottom. And once I got the bottom together, really it just uh, was about it. And then I just cut a back and a seat out. So, yeah, that's it. It's a little heavy. It's probably a two-person moving job. It's just more awkward than anything. But the whole real hard part was cutting the, all the uh, jigsaw work to get that part cut out. So I think I'll be selling these for, I don't know, $130 or so, non-painted. You can probably add $75. You want me to paint it, have to take it back apart to paint it. So uh, 